The views and opinions expressed do not necessarily reflect those of Access for Wayne, the Allen County Public Library, or any other supporting groups. If you'd like to produce a show, call us at 260-421-1250. Hello, welcome to my show called Patty Stage. My name is Patty Hunter, and today's special guest is painter and art teacher Kelly Schumacher. How are you, dear? Welcome to my show. I'm good. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Great. Uh, it's been a while since we last chatted with each other, right? Eh? Mm hmm. So what have you been up to? Uh, okay, let's rehash what kind of styles of artwork have you done in the past? Yeah, I um, was doing a lot of um, liturgical art, religious art, um, art that depicted like biblical stories, hmm. uh, things like that. And I mean, um, I'm still doing a lot of realism but my subject matter has has changed so you have changed i have and well the pandemic has changed a lot of things too so that's that's the big i think that was one of the biggest changes was the pandemic so, so people couldn't come over to see your work to buy or anything like that yeah i couldn't um well typically i would i would sell my art online yeah. And I had to switch to doing everything online versus doing things um, like conferences and in person. I was selling a lot of things in person and the pandemic happened and all those opportunities went away. And as you probably know, um, you could get unemployment, but in order to get unemployment, you had to make a certain amount of work contacts a week. And yeah. so... Um, through doing work contacts, I found work in a different way and um, still it, painting or yeah, um draw pretty much it's been drawing pets. That's been the big the big change is now um, drawing drawing lots of animals for people because that seems to be um, you know, because I, I mean, there's, I mean, I'll go a little political for a second, but I cannot in good conscience just take money from the government to do what I want. You know what I mean? Like, you want to do it on your own, not be. Yeah, that's not, that's, that's a big problem today is people are just choosing not to work because they're not working in what they want to do. And I was like, I'm, my, uh, even though I would love to keep doing religious art, that's, I can't keep doing religious art and receiving unemployment. That's just, I'm not okay with that. So. <laughs> well, you like to do things on your own and earn your own keep and all that. That's what we're trying to do here. Yeah, right absolutely. I mean, that's very, uh, it's very biblical, you know, it's, it's not necessarily uh, illustrating a Bible story, but it's definitely living out Christian vocation and um, working hard in your vocation. So, and that yeah. might not be your first pick, but it's still a good thing to do. Brings the food on the table. And yep. Yeah, that's right. So, yep. um, <clears throat> so when you first started out many, many moons ago, how, how long has that been? Uh, 2013, and it's 2021 now. 2021, yeah. Mm -hmm. About six years. Eight well, years. Uh, 2000. Would you believe eight years? Mm -hmm. Eight <laughs> years, yeah, eight years. Bob had to correct. So me. it's kind of been like six years of religious, then like one year of trying to figure it out, and then Angel. now a year of 
switching over and who knows what's going to happen next because you know you have you can't um I actually got some mentoring about a year or two ago but she there's a lot of this idea out there that art is all about self-expression and she really kind of cracked down on me and said, no, art is not all about self-expression. You have to find out what the market is, do the best you can with that market, produce perfection and be a good business person. She's like, art is not all about personal expression. It's all about being a good business person and working with your market. And I had to learn that with (laughs) For the past two years and um it's been a wild ride but still you know i i'm grateful that i get to work and get to use you out of mischief. <laughs> hmm? i keep you out of mischief mm, yeah let's let's hope so <laughs> oh okay <laughs> um <clears throat> the styles that you have changed uh how long did it change to get used to drawing animals and well, pets or what kind of animals do you do? Yeah. Um, well, in the beginning, I started, uh, let's see, I started maybe a few Christmases ago. My dad said that I should do um, a dog and a cat drawing for my sisters for Christmas. And he wanted a copy of an Albrecht door hair. And I thought, okay, I'll, I'll do some animals for you guys. And then I started advertising those a little bit. And then a few people said, oh, I really like that. I would like a pencil of my own. Mm -hmm. And I've always worked with pencil. So that's pretty, um, you know, normal and natural. And then um, I did a children's book in colored pencil. Oh, did you? Yeah, I did. I did a colored pencil. And so I I thought, well, hey, let's see if people, because it's just, People didn't seem that interested in oil paintings. I thought, what if I did a colored pencil drawing instead of just a plain pencil? So I've been doing that for about a month now. I know, just one month. And I've gotten a lot of, a lot of people are interested. So I'm, I'm kind of just learning as I go. Um, Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm still, I haven't changed in that I still value realism and creation and craft and a job well done but it's just it's about trying to figure out what people are willing to uh pay for in terms of hand-drawn art like trying to figure out what are what do people actually want and when do they want it (laughs) anything with pets is rather emotional and if you catch the essence of that animal's face or eyes Mm -hmm. they love it Mhm. Absolutely. Do you have a picture of a colored pen so uh, drawing? And- yeah, I've got one right here that I was working on before the interview. I'm hoping to finish it today. Um, it's not a pet, but it's a commission of an of an animal. Oh, a bird. A dragonfly. That's a dragonfly. Oh my glasses. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. It's not done. There's a whole like the wings aren't completed or anything. Oh, so. the top part to me looks a little bit like a parakeet or something like that. Oh yeah, I mean the the dragon flies on on a leaf, yeah. so that's that's what's what, going on there. So. What color are you making the dragon fly? Um, the I guess the tail is pink, and then the body is green. <laughs> Oh, that's nice. And then the wings are, I've been uh, drawing in all the, uh, I have to, I finished the main parts, but I have to work on the back where like the little wings hinge on and then the little veins of the lead, of the hinge of the uh, wings and then the layer of the wings over the leaves. Like I'm kind of on that stage. So Color upon color. Huh? Color upon color. Yeah, and line and detail. Yeah, so. And see through it, uh, wings. Yeah. You catch the color behind it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I've been working on that. I hadn't. So, I mean, and I've had people uh, send me pictures of 
not just pets, but like if they have a photograph of an animal that they really like, they're sending that to me and I'm, I'm doing that as well. So it's just been a lot of, a lot of animals. So. Is it birds <clears throat> or uh, wildlife or domestic pets? What? Yeah, it's whatever, whatever the clients want. I mean, they've, I mean, I've been very grateful that they have been asking me to come. I, I did a, I did a bald eagle last week and then the same guy was like, okay, now I want a dragonfly. And I was like, okay, like I will keep going. Like, thank you so much. I was, I was like, this is great. I mean, but a lot of people want the classic, you know, dogs and cats. That's just, what most people have as pets. So my favorite is Alamino. Oh, it's what? Alamino. Alamino stallion. Mm. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Also, I wouldn't mind looking at a praying mantis. Mm -hmm. That's really yeah. anyway. <laughs> I get no, no okay. <clears throat> so, uh, you do children? Okay, cheers. Yeah, um, I've only I've done practice. I've done a, a few, but I haven't um, really sold any. Um, no one's really interested in. Enough children's families. Huh? families would ask you to do portraits for them yeah well that that doesn't seem to be what people are interested in even though i would love to do that yeah. for people most people want pets so um pets are more important than children Boy. i know i know it's i know it's <laughs> believe me <laughs> it's <laughs> No, believe me, I, I, str I mean, I struggle because it's like, oh, man, I wish people wanted religious art and I wish they wanted children portraits and I wish, but it's. But you do excellent work. I can't see. Yeah. Work. So I'm just like, well, I'll just be grateful that I get to use my gifts. And, you know, I know not a lot of people get to do that. And I'm grateful I get to use my education. And mm. so do you do uh, homes? Uh, yes, I've done, um, let's see, I've done a few, done a few and sold a few house portraits this oh. year, and I did do a uh, church portrait mm. as well. So, yeah, as I said, it's just the, um, I, I think that everything I'm doing is still very um, Christian based. It's just not as this, illustrative. Yeah. Yeah. It's more it's more vocation and creation. Mm -hmm. Like, what is it? First article gifts versus like second article. I was really wanting to do life, death, resurrection of Jesus. And I was doing all that. Now it's more like life. all first article, like animals, house, catechism, but children, you, you, all that you, stuff. That's still yeah. very Christian, but yeah. just a different um, Labor. point. <laughs> Hmm? Different genre, flavor. Yeah. Something that still says the Lord is behind all this. Right, right. And behind the hand of the artist. Mm -hmm. So you're doing great. Thank you. Yeah, and just uh, I was uh, talking to my husband about this because I was like, I felt so bad that I wasn't doing religious oil painting. And he's like, well, just think of it as Noah's Ark. It's all Noah's Ark or. Um, Adam with all the animals and as of having to name them all and he's like just think of all the animals in <laughs> creation and I was like okay that helps so that's what God made he made everything mm -hmm. that's right um so with these new themes you're working on like I said you blend Christianity with it and I think that's great because the Lord made everything like I said before and we should paint what God had given us. Mm -hmm. And uh, are you a teacher? Yeah, I do private lessons. What yep. kind? Sure. Well, um, I teach a portrait. Mm -hmm. I'm doing a portrait drawing, private lessons, um, where we are drawing the skull from different angles, labeling the skull, um, how to create value, how to create texture with mark making and then now we're working on the individual features 
we've been drawing eyes for about two or three weeks now, <laughs> just eyes and more eyes. And which way is the eye looking? And what are the parts of the eye? Can you show me an eye? Ah, uh, let's see. Can. My teaching right. folder here. Oh, right. oh, I like your cup. Yeah, let me think if I have my, I do have my teaching folder. Okay, let's, oh, I hear it is. Yeah, I've got all my um, lessons in here that we've been doing. So it's all hmm? physically someone at your studio. Yeah, this is my studio. And they come to your studio, do you also can teach online certain things? No, it's, I, I'm not set up for that right now. So you go to other people's places to huh? teach them there? You go yeah, I typically drive to their their home. It's gonna take me a second to pull my what is your website for this? On you stayarts.com A G N U S D E I arts.com, but I'm still gotta work on a new website with all the new changes. So here's like a skull. Oh yes. Oh yeah, can you yeah. Yeah, that's one skull. Um planes of the face. Oh, the muscle. Uh, yeah, like how do you, yeah. how do the planes of the face work? Um, skull from the front, because the oh, skull lovely. holds the, um, the features. Um, I've got some more in here. You know I do. You know what? I have a feeling you can be in forensic drawing around a skull. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like here's some eyes. There's oh, eyes. Oh. Aye, aye, aye. Look at that there. Wowzer. You did good. Yeah. So it's just on pencil, right? Yeah, this is this is pencil. Oh, this one was kind of fun. This was a uh, little value scale that we worked on together. Oh, well, how deep the depth of yeah. the, uh, pencil, dark to light. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm always trying to figure out how to how to do a little bit better each time with each student. So um, I'm teaching, as I said, portrait, still life, painting, and kind of a watercolor and basic drawing. Mm. So always, yeah. You showed me the dragonfly. Mm -hmm. Do you have other uh, items or subjects that you are working on, like different phrase stages to go through? Do yeah. You would you see? do you want to see see like a still life, or do you want to see uh, like a pet? I mean, I a I pet. mean, all my pets that I have right now are completed <laughs> here, but because uh, I pretty much get one done and then I have to ship it off ASAP. So. Oh, crap. <laughs> well, I wouldn't mind seeing whatever you have, my dear. Yeah, sure. I will, uh, I'll pull this one up. Well, in stages how you do it. Just yeah. like a little mini uh, classroom. Yeah, this here. is a still life I'm working on. Oh, yeah. Oh. In my class, yeah. It's lovely. Well, is that, uh, what is that, color? This is um oil. Oh. An oil painting of a still life, so I'm, I'm working on that. Um, <clears throat> is that supposed to be a plate? <laughs> yeah, it's a little paint palette. Um, because I try to paint and draw with my students. Oh, yeah. um, how many do you know? How many students do you normally have in your studio? Um, I only teach usually one person at a time, but I that's do. Good. Um, I've got four. There's a house that I did. Oh, that's lovely. You must have put a lot into that. The sunshine, the shade, mm -hmm. the greenery. Oh, now that's lovely. You put a lot of life into that one, girl. Yeah. Yeah, I just, um, I want to be able to make things that are, yeah, it's kind of a, a I don't want to say new, but mm -hmm. it's a, a pretty kind of simple teaching philosophy is, just try to make it look realistic. And I'm always trying to make my work look more realistic. And I'm always trying to help my students make art that looks realistic. And I have a dog 
picture, a painting, a drawing of a dog. Mm -hmm. You gotta make it look like it's going to fly right off that paper and come at you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what people want. They want it to look like yeah. their dog or their house or their child. And then I just am. I mean, I like. I really will say I like this path because it's very. It's challenging, but it's straightforward, meaning like you, there really is no guesswork. Like you're not trying to figure out what someone wants. You're trying to replicate exactly you what. You've got a good eye for that, girl. Thank you. Yeah. I, try. I try. You're a trying person, eh? <laughs> Sorry. You're good. <laughs> so uh, what else are you uh, doing? Uh, besides pets and uh, children. And and teaching. And homes and teaching. Yeah, no, that's pretty much it. That's pretty that's, it. <laughs> that's it. I mean, I um I go to events. Um, right now I have been actually um yeah, I just I go to different events. I, I can't go to a ton of events, but I'm trying a few craft fairs and I'm gonna be working on portraits and looking for commissions while at different events. And, but for the most part, I am just, you know, my life is pretty boring and I don't mean that in a negative way. I mean, like I literally am just trying to get all my commissions completed before Christmas and oh, yes. following through on all my orders. Like that's really, um, I mean, I still sell religious art and Christmas cards, but mm -hmm. it's, that's um, that's kind of more of an online thing now because of the pandemic. And now I'm just like, I get my orders and I have to do my orders and make sure I, and then I think next year, hopefully once the Christmas rush dies down, I can start a new website where I'm loading all my, my new originals. And that way it'll be, I'm trying to create a website where it's very easy to order from if you want a commission because people have been asking a lot of questions and I was like, Oh, the reason you don't know is because I haven't created the website yet. And I'm kind of working on filling my orders, even oh, though I don't have a website yet. That's oh, really history. working. <laughs> Finally. Mm -hmm. When you do pencil, mm -hmm. how do you put it into the frame? Yeah. Just briefly. How do I put it into the frame? Mm -hmm. You don't put glass in front of the pencil, do you? Yeah, what I do is you do, um, you have your picture, you know, you don't touch the edges. You have to like, my dad actually will mount it like really nicely for people and, you know, make sure there's no dust and no smudging. He's like, it takes him like two hours to do these things. He'll like hand cut a mat, like he'll, he, I don't know anyone else that does as good as he does, but I don't know. But he'll, so he'll do that. He'll put you know, the picture and then there's a board underneath and then there's, can he'll adhere that and just the edges. And then he puts the mat on top oh. and make sure it's all clean and the glass is clean and the mat is clean. Everything's super clean. <coughs> and then you put the glass over the mat. Yes. But the glass is not touching the drawing. You just never want to touch that drawing. I've, mm -hmm. I've had clients bless them. They didn't know they go up to the picture and they uh -huh. love it and they go like this across okay. the drawing. It smudges all the way through the faces. And that's why I'm kind of like, yeah. oh, have someone who knows what they're doing actually frame it for you. Don't just go, because they're like, it looks so real. And then they touch the face and you're like, you oh, just goodness. ruined oh, 30 so hours cool. of work. Oh, <laughs> and, once, and the problem is, is when they do that, their finger oils get into there and it's going to deteriorate in the next yeah so 20 years when they do that <laughs> I'm like no covered with the glass and mat mat and then glass yes it's going to be safe for years yeah it's safe it's safe forever then as long as you take good care of it that's all the nicely nicely protected but i'm always i'm always like oh you know i mean i understand what's what they purchase it it's theirs but i'm just like <laughs> I've had pieces where they're like I look at it over time and then like there's all these little like little hands 
there's all these fingerprints all over that. And that's like, when people look at my that work, really? like, I do think I didn't erase all those fingerprints. Like, oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> so nothing means just saying like, ah, don't do that. <laughs> I mean, I try to be very careful with yeah. my pieces, like not even to like touch my pieces. I try to like only draw with a piece of paper under my hand. I try really hard not to over touch my drawings because I have finger oils too. And that's the hard part about paper is just the most Me too. Uh, <clears throat> we did a good job. You are doing well. And I hope uh, your family, Love your work, I'm sure they do. Mm -hmm. So, when we meet again, hopefully next year or whatever, Merry, you know, happy Thanksgiving. Thank you. And Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. And New Year. Thank you. <laughs> so, uh, God bless you, girl. Thank you, Patty. Thank you. Thank you for being on my show. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. See you next week, everybody. God speed, my love, until we meet again. You're always in my heart and every dream. Don't let this time apart give in to all our fears. God will keep us close. From up above So until we meet again God speak my love God is with us always For the rest of all our lives